Hey guys, welcome back to another uh, sweet, sweet succulent episode here. Hey, this video is going to be brought to you guys by Simply Safe. These things right here. See this? This is what it's brought to you by. Really, really, really awesome thing. So as you guys know, Sarah's dad died about two weeks ago. And Sarah and I have been having this conversation. How are we going to make her feel comfortable within that, like in the house? And these guys approach us and I was kind of like, well, this is this is going to be the best thing. She's going to have a security camera inside of her house. She's going to have a motion detector. She's going to have, like if someone were to break the glass, she's going to get notified. Starts out at $14.99 a month. Like I'm going to, of course, I'm going to pay for it for her every single month. This is like a gift to her. She does not know what's happening. But I want to say thank you to Simply Say for making this video happen and making my mother-in-law feel feel safe during like a really bad time. So today we're gonna to be sticking, I think uh, between 20 and 30 pounds of shiners inside of Ryan's pond. I told him I would help him manage it to actually get it to where it's actually possibly getting like really fat big bass in there. I know it's gonna take, it'll take quite a long time because it's not like a backyard pond where it's just like one fish feeding it constantly, constantly. This is an actual like four to five acre, 15 foot depth pond that we're trying to turn into like a big bass factory. I like that, big bass, big bass factory. My mom is currently not here. She's actually down in Houston. So she's gonna come back and she's gonna have, I'm just gonna kinda, I'll put this like, there, now she knows her home. We're not gonna do all this right now because we actually have to meet up with Ryan here very soon to go get a bunch of their shiners, but I'm gonna start popping some of this stuff so if you guys want to grab one of these, go to simplysafecom backslash lunkers. It'll be linked down in the description as well. It's this pretty thing right there. I got to plug this in. It kind of, it, 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 you can talk to it. I kind of need a friend at times. Uh, to activate room. Welcome to Simply Safe. Hey, how you doing? Good. Good talk. I like you. Keep at it. She's a little shorter. That probably work. Oh. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Look at that. Searching for base stations. Oh, you this is. Connecting to base station. Choose master pin. This code you'll use to disarm your system. Okay. Okay. Choose master pin. What's that? Motion sensor. Can't be this easy. Is it really this easy? You just undo, stick to the wall? The motion detects 30 feet, so we'll just go ahead and, uh... That seems pretty good, right? Motion sensor. Detected. Now choose a name. This is stupid simple, dude. This is like really easy. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna just bore you guys and just set it all up on camera. I'm gonna set it up for her real quick, and then we'll uh, go through, go grab those shiners, get on with our day. This system's easy. This is way easier than I expected. <laughs> Steve, Steve, Steve and I are sitting here, go through the house, putting on the uh, the entryway stuff, you know, we're just putting them on every single door so she's nice and secure and safe. And he goes, <laughs> um, so when I was a kid, if my mom had this, uh, she would have put it on the fridge. That way she would know whenever I would go and uh, steal some food, you know. <laughs> or the cookie jar. Like that, <laughs> that was actually really random and funny, so I thought I had to pick it up for you guys. But we got just about every one of these put up. And I'm telling you guys, I did not think it was going to be this easy. Just pull, stick, pull, stick, push a button, and it's armed. I applaud you. I got everything done. Everything completely set up, camera set up. As you guys can see, we had a camera inside of our house so she can actually see everything while she's away, which is awesome. I'm gonna call later on and actually give her the password and everything. and be like, hey, just download the app and go take a gander at it. You're gonna love it. And then hopefully she gets jacked because I didn't, we, she doesn't know that we just installed a uh, really, really easy, but very effective alarm system. Just thought about something. I wanna test something. It should be on top of it. Okay, so you have 50 seconds, 49 seconds. I really wanted to do a test. It's gonna go off, it's gonna go off now? Gonna go Is off. it? It's good. Are you yeah. sure? Get ready. Oh my God! Oh my God. That is loud! Whoa! <laughs> cool, all right, it works, we're good. We're good. So if you guys want to be like myself and use an incredibly effective and reliable system for a very great price, go ahead and click the link at the very top of the description and uh, you're, you're gonna love it. Hey, we got it all set up. Uh, I, we ch tested all the doors. We tested the camera on the inside of the house. I got the login for your mom. I'll show her when we get back. So Ryan got a new truck. I don't even know how to work it. That's not the right button. Do you get it? it uh, uh, oh, with this thing, these things. The, oh, we'll this take the this all the way back. Oh. There it goes. Zinger! I, and I have massages going on in my butt right now. Like, my, 
I've literally got the massagers going just that's actually the motion they're doing on my little <laughs> my tush. All right, so we're on our way out to go pick up the uh, all the stuff. We actually did bring a little bit of this deep wood dry Zika virus. Not really too worried about that. I got destroyed. Yeah, by 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 chiggers. Oh my yeah. god, I've got like 80 bites. It's bad. Yeah, it was probably. See right here, look, chiggers, chiggers, a real thing. Oh man, my butt feels. I'm loving this. So we actually had to make a, a quick pit stop, not because Ryan wanted to see the house, but because someone forgets everything everywhere. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> Who could that be? Steven leaves his phone everywhere. He's like, uh, where's my wallet? I, I always think, hey, you just want me to pay for everything, just tell me. He's like, oh, I left it up at the Guggen house. We're gonna drive 45 minutes. Oh, see, I told you I fixed the I fixed the whole thing. Oh, look at the gills. Okay, we're good. I think they're think they're relaxed. They ate every cricket was eaten. Oh, son of a... Damn, our tank people broke our freaking lid. I was actually generally not going to stop by today and, and do this, but you know what? I absolutely love feeding these fish, and I think you guys enjoy it too. Like, who doesn't want to watch fish just crush other fish? Oh, I found my phone. <laughs> there it is. All right, little guys. Prepare to be eaten. Smash. What's up? Is that Gary or is that the other one? No, we took the other one out. The other one was causing too many issues. It was like too big, right? Uh, it was just too mean. So I got a lot of fish in here. I bet you didn't even realize how many bluegills and everything else are in there. No. Yeah, so there's of course the catfish, but look at all the gills on this side. And that's what the gills and the catfish eat, I guess? Uh, no, that's what the gills eat. Okay. So they just come up and they just, they love that stuff. Yeah. You got like pellets for the catfish? What do they do? Yeah, like, pellets. Yeah. I think Gary's full. I think everything's good. All right. I'll put some pellets on there. You got it this time? You good? I think I'm good. So it's cash only at this place. Step number one, I had to go get some cash. I got $200 out because it's a very big pond. And the guy told me I can get between 20 and 30 pounds of shiners for $200. I just don't know how long it's gonna last. I think $200 is plenty it for that last pond for a while, for right? Now. I don't know. We're, I mean, I, it depends on how hungry the fish are. <laughs> I hope the guy's actually gonna let us film here too, but I'm gonna see how much $200 worth of American hard-earned cashola will buy of shiners. 100, and, 100, 100 to 125 dozen. That right there is probably about a pound. Okay. 100 to 125 dozen, so we'll say... I'm gonna do the math real quick. So you, you ready for this? We're gonna get 1,500 fish. Yeah, 1,500 shiners. Did you get some? What's up, Steven? Wait, what, do you guys sell any other kind of uh, like gills or anything like that a certain, a certain time of the year? Uh, we had some red minnows, but we sold out of them. Other than that, we got gold fish. I don't really matter. Probably on the floor if you can, or the seat don't matter. Just go ahead. Just put that one on the seat. All right. We might see you in a, every couple of weeks. What do you think? Yeah, well, just like I said, just basically look at the uh, look at the phone when you put them in there, man. Let's just start going crazy. Okay. Put some more in there. I appreciate well, it. Thank, right. thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Yep. Take care. Look at those suckers down there. How you guys doing? Doing good. About fifteen hundred fish right there. The real question we're asking ourselves is how long this is actually going to last in the pond? Whoa. Imagine Ryan just picked up this uh, nice beautiful King Ranch yesterday. Imagine if we had 1,500 minnows just explode in your back seat all, oh, all over the floor. That would be a nightmare. <laughs> that would be a nightmare. They're all just flopping around in the back. Oh, Ryan's finger everybody. There What's it up? is. There's, What's up? There's Nubs. Nubs' fingers just getting it right there. <laughs> uh, we're just making it out to the land clearly we got a i have an idea in my head about what i want to build to get the the fish always just funneling them in there you know what i mean but it's not really built yet so we just have a pipe i don't i just don't want to dump 1500 minnows at the bank because it just seems like that could be an utter mess it will just we'll do one at a time no big deal it's not a couple inches here it's actually Pretty, pretty deep, which is, which is good when you're putting this much stuff in. 
It's about as janky of a system you can get, I can tell you what. I got a guy with one hand. There you go. Oh, we're now we're look at that raccoon poo poo. What do you guys think? Think this is gonna pan out well? Nope. You don't think so? Nope. You think I'm just gonna it's gonna be a mess. You don't think it's gonna work? It's gonna piss all over me. I can already hear the comments. Rob, why don't you just pour it into the water? I don't know if this is gonna work. Just do a just, full send? Did you just send it? Do I just just like right there in that pocket? Well, look like I just pissed myself. Nope, oh, I could see him swimming down there. I almost feel like that wasn't enough. 1,500 of them? Let's go yeah. grab the other bags, yeah. This is what we're releasing, 1,500 of these. Oh, jeez, the bag just broke. Make it, guys. Get in the water. That was hilarious. That's why I was wanting one of those slides, man. <laughs> see what I mean? They're just like, ah. They're like, no. Look how many that is. Look at that. Come on. What'd you call this place? The Bass Factory, right? Bass Factory, yeah. <laughs> this is this is Ryan's Bass Factory. Big Bass Factory. Big, I dig big, it. Yeah, big Bass Factory. So this is where we should make like the dumping area, right? Like the slide. Well, it's deep, you know? We're, yeah. It'd be easier. Say we come back and here, there's like... probably going to be bass hanging in here. Oh, yeah. Imagine we had like 10,000 of them. And we oh, just pulled them down gosh. a giant slide. Which I think we should. I think next time we should go and get 10,000 of them. Imagine 10,000 fish sliding down a big giant slide. The bass would be like... <laughs> the bass would be like... Imagine if we had bass with bellies this big. Imagine if we created a world record bass right here. That'd be gnarly. At the Bass Factory. At the Bass Factory. <laughs> Steven Strong. <laughs> Steven Fish. <laughs> Steven. Yeah, Steven's food. <laughs> That's a Steven fish. We had some strong fish. Um, you guys want to go see what the uh, the old camera's looking like? Yeah, like the trail camera? Yeah. Yeah. The number one comment from the other day's video was, uh, what was it? Rob, the door can't close with, with that, uh, with a camera on there. The door also can't close when you have a bolt. The tripwire wasn't set. So, just <laughs> chill. Oh, that's a good photo. That's a good one right there. That's a wild butt. Deer, deer, deer. So it's just deer. Oh my, that's the worst. That's the worst ever, one million percent. That's, that's, that is, <laughs> that is so bad. That is the worst I've ever made. Have you smell, Steven. Oh, come on. Steven you get me every time. Yeah, every time. No, Steven. no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Steven. No. Whoa. 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 It's already open. Here we go. Uh, <coughs> I smell it. All right, here we go. I'm, this is for you guys. Like, I'm just gonna. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Oh, That's all I could do. <laughs> oh. No, never again. Never again, Rob. Never. No. Every My single eyes time. Are watering. <laughs> every single time we make something like this, he has to. That is. Uh, that's the worst. I think we got the concoction. Five gallons of milk, or was it six gallons? Five uh, gallons. Five or six yeah, gallons. Five. Doesn't really matter. And then like six things of big red. Fifty pounds of corn. Let it sit out in hundred degrees for four or five days, and you have yourself a concoction. I know. We're gonna we're, we're gonna move some of it in there. Oh we're gonna put God. it in there. I don't even know how, that was, how to describe the smell of that. I need your hand. Okay. So we're not going to come back in here for probably like five days. Yeah, a week. Yeah, Maybe a week. five days to a week. We're going to leave it be. I know a lot of you guys are probably still wondering, why do you want pigs? Who doesn't want to trap pigs? And yes, I'm going to fix. We got to fix these, by the way. We got to move the, uh, the panels on the inside of the T-post. We're not, we're not removing the T-post. We're just going to mix them or move them. Oh. Oh. That whip. Dude, I wish I could convey. There's literally no words to describe what that smells like. I'm just gonna give her a full send. I'm just gonna have it all just, just giving her a dangle right here. Right there, that's a, that's a full-fledged dangle. Woo. It's funny, the last time I was here, I was trying not to throw up too. Yeah, last time was here, you chopped off his finger. Let's go. Dang. 
Get yeah, out of here, boys. Get out of here, please. I also want to say thank you so much to Brady Loot for being the compadre of the day. Thank you. Woo! Probably got a little too excited, but thank you so much. Quick pit stop at Rackley's because I forgot my bag over here. Just want to say he's an American. Rackley's pure American. Oh, I love it. I think we need to fix that. It's twisted just a tad. Yeah, it's been windy today. It's been 20 mile an hour. 20, 20. On the lake, ran out of gas. You got to excuse me. Oh, you yeah. ran out of gas today? I ran out of gas. I had to deal with that before I get to this flag. There we go. America. I'm making a quick pit stop. Uh, this boat is actually going to go north on Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday. He's yeah. going to be taking the boat north. You guys will find out more tomorrow. But I've got to actually make a pit stop because i got to film a video for my sponsors or my, my compadres. i got to film one for them right now and i got to get up because it's the end of the month and I, have, I, cannot, I have to make my deadlines. I have to meet my time hacks and I have to do things that I say I'm going to do. So now we're going to take a quick pause in this video and I'm going to film another one just for them. But if you guys are interested in that, hey, there's a button down there that says sponsor. You guys can maybe see this video at a later date. But. Just got done filming the, the sponsor video. I'm gonna be honest with you, what do you think, eight or nine minutes long? I haven't done too many of those kind of videos in, it's been a couple years, but it was more like, say, they wanted a lot of tips for like beginning fishing stuff. And for this channel, like I normally wouldn't do like just, oh, hey guys, you need to do this and this and this. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that little sponsor section, I'm able to like put, like I can just go out and just do like a nine to 10 minute tip video and just, just do everything like right there, 100% full tips. Like that felt, it kind of was relieving. It kind of felt relieved. All right, boat. See you in the AM. I, I love you. Um, just gonna just gonna throw it out there. Came home, had dinner with Sarah and Avery, and then Avery went to like a three-year-old, the, the, just just a kind of mood where you're just like, whoa, what is going on? Calm down. Take a chill pill. It'll be okay. And then and then I found out she didn't have a nap all day, and it just turned into pretty much she. Well, it was it was pretty rough for a couple hours. But last but not least, I want to say thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. Make sure to go check them out. They're freaking awesome. They're effective, reliable, and safe. If I trust my family to use it, then you guys need to trust yours. They're quality. Click the link in the top of the description. I love you guys once again. Thank you for watching this video. And you guys know the deal. Click that video right there if you're not seeing them. Hey, click the one right below it if you haven't already. Subscribe right down there. Do it to it. Lemon pieces. I love every single one. Thanks for hanging on. Move!